Congratulations on joining the Build Mania Challenge. NASCOM Future Skills Prime, KPR Institute of Engineering and Technology, and Open Weaver are proud to collaborate in this interesting practical challenge. The Build Mania Challenge is designed to provide you an opportunity to apply the concepts you learned in the FSP Acquiring Data course and build industry relevant data solutions. This challenge has been divided into two parts part one coding exercises and part two application development. This video showcases how you can complete part two of the Build Mania challenge by developing your own application. For part two of this challenge, you are required to build a recommender system of your choice, for example, a coach recommender system for an edtech platform or a music recommender system or a product recommender system for an e-commerce platform or anything similar to that. Once you're done developing your recommender system, you will have to create a candy kit and submit the link of the candy kit in the final challenge submission form. To help you get started with this, we have provided you with a starter kit. This is a movie recommendation system starter kit, which provides movie recommendations to users using Pandas library and applying the concept of collaborative filtering. So let's go ahead and take a look at this movie recommendation system starter kit. This is a one click solution kit, which means in a single click, you will be able to download and install and run this entire kit right up to seeing a complete working solution. This one click uh, kit has all of the dependencies and resources that you will need to be able to download, set it up and run. So you will not be required to download anything else, but for just clicking on this one click kit installer. If you'd like help or support in using this kit or downloading and setting it up, we have provided you with a five minute tutorial on how you can go about uh, setting up this movie recommendation uh, system kit and using the entire kit. So go ahead and feel free to watch that five minute tutorial and use this movie recommendation system as a starter kit to developing your customized recommendation kit for this challenge. Once you have used the starter kit provided to you, you can go ahead and customize the solution by feeding your own data set, depending on the recommender system that you're looking at building. You will then have to create a candy kit for that recommender system that you're creating and submit the link of the candy kit in the final submission form. Now let's walk you through some very simple steps on how you can create a candy kit for submission. To get started, let's head to candy.openweaver.com. And once you've come to the Candy homepage, you will have to sign up or sign in if you've already signed up. On signing in, you will find a MySpace tab on your top right hand. So this is your space to organize libraries, code snippets, create kits, and publish kits. Um, you can use this space to do everything that you would like with all the resources that Candy has to offer. Now, as a first step, we'll go ahead and create a new list for this uh, kit that we're going to submit. I'm just going to call it Build Mania and give my kit a name with the recommender system which I'm building, which is a music recommender system, for example. You can also go ahead and give the name of your team. This section below allows you to provide a description about your kit. So go ahead and use the space to describe what kit you have built. You can also go ahead and provide more details about how you came up with the solution repository or anything else that you would like to add for us to know about the solution that you have created. This will really help us when we go ahead with the judging process for this challenge. Um, we also provide a feature for you to be able to add an image. So you can be creative and use the space um, as well as you would like to. Once you've provided a little bit of a description, please go ahead and go to the next step, which is adding your solution repository to this kit. So this is the most important step, right? In creating your candy kit. To be able to find your solution repository on Candy, you should have already uploaded this solution repository on GitHub. 
if you are not familiar on how to create a GitHub account or how to upload your solution repository on GitHub, we have provided you with a link which will outline a few very easy steps on how you can create a GitHub account and how you can upload your solution repository onto GitHub. This is a very important step because we will be able to find your repository on Candy only once it has been uploaded on GitHub because we take it from GitHub. So go ahead and upload your solution repository on GitHub. And once that is done, you can get back to your kit page and search for those for, for your specific solution. And the easiest way to search for it is possibly looking for the author. So look for the author or for the solution repository name. And if you have uploaded it in your GitHub account or your team members GitHub account, you can go ahead and search for it using their, uh, their name and then look under libraries and find your solution repository. Once you found your solution repository, please go ahead and hit save. By doing this, you actually save it to your MySpace. Now in your MySpace, you will find your solution repository. You can then move it to the kit page that you have just created for this challenge. And there you have your kit page with your customized solution repository with a beautiful description, which is now ready to be saved and then published. You can view your kit by clicking on that link. And this is now your kit that you have published on Candy for everybody else to be able to see and enjoy. So please share the link of this kit in the final submission form. You can also edit this kit after the challenge if you'd like to further build on top of it or work with your team members and further develop the solution that you have built, please feel free to go ahead and do that. But more importantly, you can go ahead and share this kit that you have created with all of your classmates, friends, your network. And it's a great way to get started in your application development journey. Uh, I hope this video helped you in creating a candy kit and I hope candy helps you in building your applications faster. So thank you very much and all the best.